Good morning and welcome to Spirit Forest. This is part two of my challenge. My challenge is to climb a mountain that doesn't have a trail. So I'll be using just a compass and a map to climb the mountain and then come back down to base camp. Maybe it's just a sleeping line. Because I was sleeping on my jacket. Maybe that's, maybe that line's the zipper. Okay. okay, guys, I am not alone in my challenges. I don't do them alone. I don't think it's very safe. Um, however, I will be alone in part two. <laughs> um, I, we hiked up, um, I don't know, I think it was about a thousand feet or so, to, uh, 1,200 feet, somewhere around there. Um, got to the base of the mountain. Um, s some of it was in on a trail, and the other part was not on a trail. So um, check out that video. That is in part one. So right now I'm at the base of the mountain. Um, I am going to leave um, everyone and head up to the top of the mountain. I do have Rocky. Rocky's my really big Rottweiler dog. Rocky, you want to come over here and just say hi? Let's say hi. Come here, baby. Oh, he's such a baby. He's such a baby. Yeah. And uh, so Rocky's going to be... Um, He's going to be staying here because the top of the mountain might be pretty rocky, which is not safe for him. So he's going to be staying here. Okay, those things right here. This is Rocky's water. He's already drinking one of those yesterday. And oops, now he's going to drink this one while I'm out. And then uh, when I come back, we're going to go down to the river. Okay, uh, water's pretty far distance from where we're at. I have um, a bear spray for those of you that keep asking if I have bear spray. I do have bear spray. I haven't seen evidence of bear spray on this area, but I've seen a lot of mountain lion and bear spray will work on mountain lion as well. Um, I also have my knife. Um, I have a rain jacket inside there. I have a map. I have a compass and I'm going to be putting a bunch of snacks in there. I got some camera stuff because I'm taking you guys along. Um, and a lot of water. I have a whole bladder full of water because that's a that's a pretty big climb. You know, it said the map said it's a thousand feet. Man, that looks like more than a thousand. I'm looking at that mountain right now, and it looks like more than a thousand. And if I were to show you in the camera, it wouldn't give justice. I need to get into a clearing where you guys can see the top of this mountain. But um, anyways, I'm giving myself about three hours, about three hours to get this done. And um, my biggest challenge is to come up the mountain and then come back down into the same area and find um, find my group back here. So um, that is gonna be a challenge because we're kind of nestled in the trees here and uh, trying to navigate your way through trees can be a little tough. So that's, that's a big challenge. Uh, the top of the mountain, from what I could see, I've never been to the top of this mountain. It looks very rocky. So um, I might have to skirt around it a little bit to kind of see where's the best spot. But I don't know, I haven't been to the top. Okay, I'm sneaking away. No, we took it. <laughs> I'm gonna sneak away. <laughs> He's gonna wanna try to follow me. And Rocky's. He, he likes being right next to me. He really does. This is gonna be hard on him. Okay, we're working. I don't know why I'm whispering. It's not like Rocky didn't know I left. Those trees show you the, the idea of the incline. So, see how they're growing? She kind of shows you. You gotta check out the view I'm getting now.
Okay, I got my bearing. So, it's a lot of climbing. It doesn't look like it right now, but I feel like I'm going straight up. I could make myself some switchbacks. Switchbacks would be, I kind of, whoops, I kind of move this way on the tra on the mountain and kind of work my way up. A little harder to do that when navigating um, because I can make one switch back shorter than the other and then I can get a little lost. So it's, it's actually better for me to drive, um, walk straight up the mountain. <sighs> we'll see. <sighs> there you go, I dropped my map. Park in there. You know, I really like these challenges though. I really do. I had this map all nicely folded, but I know exactly where I'm going. I can see the peak. So, oh, weather. Maybe you guys are asking, it's supposed to snow on me. Um, it didn't snow. It actually was, was quite pleasant. It got down in the, maybe the high 30s, and um, I'd say 38 degrees, somewhere around there. I'm having problems with my map here. In there. There we go. So, I uh, woke up. There's a little bit of ice on the tent, but um, really wasn't that bad. Rocky wasn't too happy last night, though. Um, he started whining and he wanted in the tent. There was just no room inside the tent. So, oh well. He survived. And when I got out of the tent, he was all happy and jumping all around. I'm trying to get you guys a view of this mountain. If you see, I don't know if you see what I'm climbing. There's a mountain up there. Can't really see it yet. Okay. Still working my way up. Can you see what's behind me? Isn't that beautiful? Look at that. I can't wait till we get to the top. Then I can show you all these mountain ranges because I have a goal not to climb the peaks of every one of these. In fact, I think I'm trying to get it. That one. I think it's, yeah, that one. That's a almost 14 feet or 14,000 feet. 14 or. It's a 13er, it's like 13,900 or something like that. And I can look that up too, but. So pretty in here. And there's like no one here. No one. I love it. I like these remote places that I find. That there's no people around. Feel, I don't know, I guess I feel more free having my own little adventure like I'm conquering this mountain on my own and I'm the only one that's ever done it. It's a climb though. It's like I'm on Stairmaster for hours. Thanks for joining me. I appreciate it. I promise you it'll look pretty when I get to the top. And uh, it was really overcast and all the clouds would burn off. So it's getting even prettier. Up, up, up. a bit um, 
because there's tons of dead trees over here and so I'm having to go around them and skirt my way over that side. My um, uh, base camp, I like calling it that. My base camp is at the foot of this mountain but it's over there now. So I don't know if I were to point how far off I am, that is straight down to me. And again, my, uh, my base camp is in there. So my goal was try to make it straight up, but with all these dead trees that have fallen, it's making it really hard to navigate um, straight up. I have to go around a lot of these trees, so. <sighs> yeah. way more south away from my camp because it was really rocky where I was heading oh this looks rocky too uh, you know I looked at uh, Google Maps you know and zoomed in as close as I could to try to find the best route it's tough you know because it only zooms in so far and you can only tell if there's rocks there for a little bit, but when you get to the top of a mountain, a lot of times, especially these tops, you end up running into a lot of rocks, which is kind of what I'm doing right now. I'm going to show you. This doesn't look good. I might have to move more north again because this is actually more rocks than the north side. And I don't want to start a rock slide. <laughs> that would be very bad. Okay, let me show you what I'm looking at. I know the sun's in the way a bit. You see that? It's like that all the way to the top. This is a Ankle twisters, that's what I call them. I don't know. What do you think? Looks like there's some dirt between some of these rocks. I don't know if there's going to be a way around it. thinking out loud guys that's just a lot of rocks okay I'm gonna there's some bushes over there and if there's bushes there's not a lot of rocks over there so I'm gonna work I'm gonna climb through these rocks 
and work my way to those bushes over there. So, don't go that way. That is the south side of the mountain. Um, <laughs> note to self, in case I want to do this again, I will watch this video again. I don't want to be on the south side. That is a ton of rocks. Sorry, I'm sure the sun was right behind me. And, uh, and I had to climb through that. So um, I get worried about rock slide. I mean, that really worries me on these kind of rocks. So some of them are loose. I had to put the camera away because I had to basically crawl <laughs> just to distribute my weight mostly, you know, and I can't afford an injury up here. Um, so yeah, no south side, Tim. Don't, if you watch this video, I'm talking to myself, if you watch this video, don't go on the south side. Okay, so I still, and I know you're going to have sun right here, but right behind me is where I need to climb. And I'm going to try to find, I found this little patch, look where I'm at right now. I found a little patch of, of dirt. I like that. <laughs> oh, sorry, I get the sun in your eyes again. Um, isn't that beautiful? Are you looking at that? Do you see that? Wow. You know what I like? And, I, and you guys, it's not rude, you know? I'm not trying to be rude. But I hear no people. I hear a fly. And a little, like a chipmunk. But I hear no people. And it's hard to find places where there's no people. And that's why I like doing these kind of things. If you notice, I'm not saying the name of this mountain. And there's a reason. I'm not giving it away. <laughs> find your own mountain! No, I'm kidding. I'm, I'm just, uh, you know, I'm off trail and there's a lot of rules out there and stuff and so most likely I'm not supposed to do this and uh, and I don't want to say climb that mountain because I did it you know and so that's why I'm not saying the name of this mountain or the nearby mountains around me which I know I know all of these mountains I know the names of all of them um, but I just I don't want to say that this is what you guys should do this is this is what I'm doing, you know, and I guess it's my little disclaimer. This is my own risk. This is what I like to do, you know. So, don't try this at home, kids. <laughs> or adults, or adults. You know, find your own that you feel comfortable doing. I've done this multiple times before where I'll find a mountain and I just climb it. Um, a lot of times I'm, up, I'm all by myself when I do it. This time I have someone, so in case something were to happen to me, I have someone that can help that's nearby. In fact, I'm actually pretty far away. I'm pretty, I'm totally off course, you guys. I know I'm off course, and that's what's important. It's like, I know I'm not walking straight down the mountain, and now I gotta walk at this angle uh, towards the north. But now it looks like I'm going kind of towards the north. So, you know, I forgot to eat breakfast too. <laughs> I haven't eaten yet today. That's so like me, I totally forgot to eat. I have some oatmeal.
I gotta put you away for a bit because now I'm at the point the only way up is to scurry over all these rocks. <sighs> okay. okay, I got over that rocky part. A couple loose rocks, it's kind of like I'd step on one and that one would wiggle. Then I'd step on another one and that one was strong. So it's kind of, kind of remind me of playing, um, oh, what's that game? Where you have to put one foot on one color, another, a hand on a different color. Twister, Twister. I was just playing Twister with all those rocks back there. But I'm in this nice area, look at this. That's, that's much better than that. If you can see it, the sun's coming up over that. That is all rock, so I'm kind of, you know, the mountain's telling me which direction to go, you know? So, I'm just following what the mountain's telling me. At this point, my map is kind of useless. I mean, I can get an idea, not totally useless. I can get an idea where I am, but um, I can't use the map to navigate. That was a little loose right then. Hopefully you can hear me. Oh, there's a storm way over there. I'm almost at the top. It's getting a little windy. Feel I can feel it. I'm almost there. You know, if I climb this mountain again, I know what direction to go. Usually I don't climb mountains more than once because there's so many mountains to climb. You know, why climb one twice when you could just pick a new one every weekend? Did it? Did you doubt me? Because <laughs> I'm a determined individual, and if I'm gonna do something, if I say I'm gonna do something, I'm gonna do it. I gotta show you some of these views. 
And I know the camera won't do it justice. Are you proud of me? I'm so proud of me. I just want to say, words cannot describe how happy I am right now to be able to climb this mountain that I've been looking at for years. I've been looking at this mountain. And this year, I said to myself, I'm going to climb it. <laughs> and I did. I climbed it. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. I don't even know what to do. You know what I really want right now? I want to go celebrate. That's what I want to do. I want to go celebrate. I want to take a shower. Take a shower. And then I want a beer and some steak. <laughs> oh, I did it. I did it. <laughs> oh. I'm happy. Okay, that's the fun part too. Okay, I gotta climb. Woo. I, gotta, I gotta put my phone down. I gotta make it down this mountain. Thanks for coming with me, you guys. I'm not ready to leave you yet. The hardest part is going down. That is the hardest part of a climb like this. You see that? I gotta go down. My campsite. Oh, I wonder if I could see. Sorry for the wind. Can't do anything about it. down there somewhere <laughs> and my tent's like fluorescent green you think I'd see it but it's in there somewhere this is my bigger challenge right here this is the I don't have a problem getting up this mountain my challenge is can I get close enough to my campsite because it's nestled in these trees somewhere right down there I'm not done yet. Don't leave me yet. I gotta figure out a way down this mountain. I'm kinda just thinking of, you see those trees right over there? Those are the closest trees. That's where I came up. 
So I think I'm going to work my way down to those trees and then start working my way that, that way, which this is north, that is south. So I'm going to start working my way that way. And then I'm going to have to go pretty far north, I think, to get to my, my campsite. My base camp. So stay with me. This is the scary part. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I'm kidding, maybe. I couldn't resist, you gotta see this rock. Uh, okay, I am on the side of a mountain here. You see, you see that rock where my backpack's laying against? It's a recliner. It's like the perfect rock to recline on. Look at that. <laughs> it's like I had to sit on it. It's awesome, I like it. This is so awesome. I really like this. <laughs> hmm. All right, I gotta keep moving. I know Rocky's waiting for me. He's wondering where I am. And I just wanna let you know, I'm very happy I did not bring Rocky with me. Very happy. There were areas where I was that there's no way he would be able to go through without getting his leg stuck. And I can't carry him. So that was a very good decision to not bring Rocky up here. <sighs> okay. I will leave my recliner rock. Check it out. Just look at this thing. Look at that. It's like, doesn't that look like a recliner? <laughs> ah, I like it. <laughs> look at the little things. back to the trees. I found a better route up. Sorry, I heard something. It was just a squirrel. Um, I found a better, rock, uh, better route up. So, this part is for me. So, me, when I, Tammy, when you hike this again, look for that rock. That rock will lead you up. So follow the tree line and go to that rock on the west side of the mountain. And once you get to the west side of the mountain, see that rock, you'll find your way up. Okay, sorry, that note was for me because I'll rewatch this video if I want to climb this mountain again. And if you guys know which mountain this is, try to keep it secret, you know, just keep it secret. If you just wanna tell me because you just wanna you want to show off and you want to tell me that you know what uh, mountain this is, um, send me an email. But for, for right now, I just want to keep it kind of private, um, the name of this mountain. And uh, just between me and some of the people that might know the name of this mountain. 
Okay. I'm going to get out of the wind a little bit and find my way. There still looks like there's still some rocks I need to kind of go through. You see, I still have to climb through a lot of rocks. So I'm going to put the camera away for a minute. And then I'm going to be about halfway down. And then I'll bring the camera back up. I'm about halfway down from my mountain peak before hitting my, my campsite. My, my base camp is somewhere in there. I'm going to challenge myself, see if I can walk directly there. Um, I have my compass on me, so <coughs> I have the bearing that I want to travel. We'll see if I'm right. Um, but I just wanted to talk to you guys about uh, courage and um, challenging yourself and how important it is. And I don't know if you guys notice, I'm wearing this diff a different necklace right now. And it actually says, um, it says courage on it. Let me see if it will focus on it. I don't know if it will. There we go. No, it says courage and it says other things on it and stuff like that. And uh, I actually got it from a girlfriend of mine that I grew up with. And uh, I always considered her to be the one with the most amount of courage. But uh, we were both little, little Tom girls, you know, we were taking on the world, you know. No one could stop us. We would get like a little, God, what did we have? Those little mopeds or something like that. And we would just, or we'd ride our bikes to the beach, which were like 18 miles away, and hang out at the beach for the day. And, and uh, we went to the river and drank beer, and I was only like 15 years old, you know. And it was just... It was a fun time, but I, she always pushed me to, to do things that were outside. I was kind of like a goody good girl, you know, and when around here, I, I stretched the limit sometimes. <laughs> well, she um, she got married a few years ago, and, and she gave me this, this necklace, and I thought that that was really cool. And, and I did a speech at a wedding, and um, I ended up changing my speech based because of this necklace about courage. And recently she, she was telling me that she's that I was the one that gave her courage and um, you know I never really never really thought of it that way and uh, and uh, you know it just uh, she inspired me so much to step outside of my boundaries of what I know and what I could do that I never really thought it might be the other way around <laughs> sorry it keeps getting windy and I have to turn off my camera um, if it's windy on the camera I'm sorry Hopefully you can still hear me. Um, but when it comes to courage, you know, it's so easy just to sit on the couch and, and do nothing, you know. And it takes so much courage to, to get off the couch and to turn off the TV and to get outside and, um, you know, and, and do stuff. And do stuff like this or, or do something like that's totally different. You don't have to have my hobby, you know what I mean? I always say that. You don't have to do what I'm doing. Um, maybe, maybe what you want to do is that you want to be a dancer. You know, and you want to learn to to dance again. I inspired a coworker of mine to dance. She was a dancer a while ago, and I said, "Why? Why didn't you dance now?" She's like, "Oh, well, I have kids now." And I said, "So, <laughs> you know, I mean, it's nice. I love having my kids, but you gotta be yourself too. You know, I find this a lot with my sister. Is like her whole life revolves around her kids, and I'm like, what's gonna happen when they leave? And she even told me when she was recently here. You guys saw if you saw that video. She says, well, they're not leaving. I'm like, well, you know, they're they're gonna move out. She's like, no, I'm gonna have them stay here. <laughs> I'm like, until when? You know, where I'm kind of like, you know, when my kids go off to college, I'm going to be like, go live, you know, hopefully I gave you all the tools that you need. And if you need to come back for some reason, come back. But this is your life. You know, I've taught you what you needed to do. But and not too much to ramble about that. But it's just it's so hard for people to get the courage to kind of find the thing that they like and I have been able to inspire a lot of people through YouTube and I appreciate that and and I love it when you guys send me emails and you tell me what I inspired you to do whether it be a climb or I get tons of pictures too you know um as Caesar up in Alaska he's got a uh, a cabin up there it says I'm always welcome so so thank you Caesar and I have uh, Gary Gary uh, recently lost his wife and uh, it's really sad and uh, he just kind of was sitting at home and he wasn't really doing anything and he's just I guess he was kind of just waiting to die and I said no go out there do stuff you know and and yeah she wouldn't want him just to sit at home and, and wait and so he's actually getting ready to do uh, 
ice fishing, ice fishing adventure this um, this winter in um, Michigan, which is uh, that's cha now that would be a big challenge for me because I don't like the cold. <laughs> so Gary, if you're watching this video, that's really cold. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, kudos to you I really and I'm hoping he sends a ton of pictures from that too he's a great supporter of, of Spirit Forest and I appreciate all of that you know and um, and other people too I have um, let me think uh, Jim Jim yeah Jim Jim has all these things that he wants to do but he's kind of like stuck at home he's you know and I just wish that he would would get out and do some things Jim so if I can inspire you to get out and do some things I know that he was some doing some like bushcraft stuff in his backyard you know so that's a start and that's good you know and again you don't have to do my hobby like you could be a dancer and learn to dance you could learn to fish you could you could just do something other than um, live through other people you know what I mean if you're able to and um, you know and I hope that I inspire you to you know create a challenge on your own and again, um, make sure you're it's able and it's safe because I keep putting all these disclaimers on that. Make sure it's safe and you know what you're doing and you prepare for it. But give yourself a challenge in the next year, you know, because I'm telling you, I am so happy right now. I really am so happy. I have been looking at this mountain. I have gone on Google. I have mapped out. And of course, I went a totally different direction than I thought I was going to go. But it's like, you know, I did it. And I'm just so happy that I did it. And it's like, this is this is just so fun, you know? And I, I just want to change the scenery so you guys kind of see where I'm, where I'm sitting. I mean, this is just beautiful. And there's no one here but me and you guys. <laughs> and Rocky down there somewhere. I'm sure he's panting and freaking out. I'll have to find out. I'm really curious how he, how he does without me in the wilderness. But it's just so pretty and it's, um, and it's scary. And it's, you know, my heartbeat went up a couple times when I, I stepped on a rock and it got loose and stuff. But uh, I can't, uh, this, is, this is just, it, look at this. Look at that. And like, look at all these like dead trees that have been there forever and the wind has blown them over. There's just a ton of them. And um, I don't, I just, I hope to inspire you guys. You know what, if I do inspire you, let me know because I would love to know. And I would love to hear it in the comments. And you know, other people read your comments too. And I have the best community. If you guys watched my Stacy video, she's so inspiring. You know, she was, uh, she sat at home, sat on the couch and then started watching YouTube and then has decided to give herself a challenge. And uh, she came out to Colorado and challenged herself. And I was able to be there for that. And I'm so excited. <laughs> Um, but if I, anything, you know, get off that couch, get out here, do something, let it be small, start small, you know, start small, even a, a, a small challenges are good, but you know, create a small one and then maybe create a big one, you know, a big one for the year. Say this year, I'm going to do this. And what is that? You know, the one person I really hope to inspire is my sister. I hope to inspire her. She hasn't watched this, my videos. <laughs> she, she thinks I'm crazy. But I hope to inspire her not to do this. This isn't her thing. I know that. But I hope to inspire her to do find something that she's good at and do that. Because um, she lives through her kid's life too much. And she needs to, she needs to have her own life. And that, I say need. I mean, I don't know. Should you? Do you need to? I don't know, but I, I see when her kids grow up and, and move out, which one's possibly, <laughs> I don't know if she'll let her <laughs> move out in three years. She's going to be graduating high school, you know, and I don't know if my sister's prepared for that. You know, you, you, there's a life outside of having kids, you know, and I, I want to I want to inspire her to do stuff. Like my sister used to be active. She used to do like roller what does she do? She like, like roller hockey. <laughs> that was my sister doing roller hockey. Um, you know, she, like she she did a lot of Pilates and stuff too. And uh, now she just she doesn't do anything but work. She works. She goes home. I mean, I, I go to her house. I visit. That's what she does. She works. She goes home. She gets up. She works. She goes home. She t shuttles the kids to and from practice. And 
and to and from meets and stuff, but she doesn't do anything for herself. You know, and I, I and, um, and we're very different. We're very different parents. And I'm not saying her way of parenting is wrong. Her kids love her, and that's that means she's a good parent. You know, she's very loved by her kids. But um, <clears throat> I just, we just parent differently. You know, so for me, I want my kids to see me doing this. I want them to see that I climb this mountain. And yes, I will force them to see this video of me climbing this mountain. Let's see if I can get. This is not the mountain I climb, but I would like to climb that one. That one's a 13,000 foot uh, mountain. Um, but I'm going to show my kids and say, hey, look what mom did. You know, look at, I had a goal and I completed my goal and I had a challenge and I did it. I did it. And um, as much as my kids are like, like seriously, I've had so many goals in my life. And, and uh, they're like, yeah, mom, okay, whatever. <laughs> you know? But I know, I know inside there, they're like, yes. I need a goal. I need to do something. You know what I mean? Like I can see it in them as much as they kind of roll their eyes at me right now. <laughs> but later, later they're going to have their own goals. They're going to have their own challenges and they're going to be happy. Like I'm re like I'm seriously really happy right now, you know? And they're going to feel all that. And th and that's what I want to share with with my girls is I want them to I want them to see their mom um grow too because I'm not done yet. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm not done yet. And I want to tell you guys, you're not done yet. There's a lot of stuff you could do that you haven't done yet. So start thinking about the things that you've always wanted to do and come up with a plan. And I'd love it if you guys share it with me. You don't have to share it over the comments. You can send me an email or something like that if you want it more private. I'm totally fine with that. But I would love to inspire you to come up with some challenges, come up with some goals and complete them because it would just be, I would be so honored to know that I have influenced someone to do something that is just outside their box a little bit. And again, my disclaimer, make sure it's safe and make sure your, your body's prepared for whatever it may be that you decide your challenge is gonna be. Okay, speaking of challenges, I gotta find my campsite down there. I don't know. <laughs> I think, I think it's more that way because I was in the trees, so I got a bearing, but it kind of looks like it would be over there because it's kind of flat. I know there's not a lot of trees where I'm at. Oh, I just heard thunder. Hmm. Okay, I got to get going. Um, so there's some, there's not a lot of trees where I'm at, where my campsite is, so. Okay, my bearing's that way. I'm just going to go with what the compass tells me and not what my gut is telling me. We're going to see if we arrive to it. I know I have to be close. I'm not down yet, but I gotta be close. Maybe get Rocky to howl. That would have been nice. Since my friend doesn't want to make a call back. Oh wait. Do it again, I can't hear you. She found me. Did you find me? Did you? Yeah. You're excited. You're so excited. You're so excited. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. <laughs> now, good boy. Good boy. Good boy. So, made it back to camp safely. I was a little off, but not too much. Um, so I was in between my gut and the, where my compass was um, um, pointing to. So I was right in between there. So it was, really wasn't that, that far um, of a distance going to my tent, but I was able to do my little call in and, and, and find my crew. So, as I said before, I am retiring my backpack. I have loved this backpack. It's a Mountain Smith backpack. 
and now I am retiring it. I am going to get a new backpack for next year. And again, I want to thank a lot of subscribers that have um, given me some extra funds for my backpack. I got a little bit more to save up for it. Um, I have one in mind, and um, and I just I need to try it on. I need to go into the store because I'm going to get myself a really good backpack. <laughs> so old blue, I think we call her old blue is now being retired. So what I'll do with her is that I will um, offer her for my classes. If people take my backpack in class and they don't want to buy a backpack, I will have an extra one now for them to use. I also have some subscribers that have some extra tents that are sending to me, which thank you for that. Um, so I'll have some extra, uh, an extra tent too to offer to people that don't want to buy gear um, quite yet. So I am going to head on down the trail and say goodbye to old Blue. Blue Bertha? I don't know what we call her. I don't know. We gotta come up with a name for my old backpack. Um, and uh, and I'm looking forward to starting out my new backpack. I don't know what color it's gonna be. <laughs> I'll see. I'll see. But uh, anyways, heading down the trail. Hopefully I can get some, some beer because I said I was in the mood for a beer and a steak. I don't know. Not a lot of restaurants around here so we'll see what I can find. I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye-bye. Say goodbye, Rocky. Say bye-bye. Over here, buddy. Bye-bye. <laughs> okay, I'm not done yet. <laughs> uh, the adventure continues because now I'm in the trees trying to find the trail and you're gonna laugh. <laughs> and my partner in crime is laughing too because he was just following me. I told him, I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna follow my gut to the trail and that's the way I'm gonna go. And he's like, okay. So he's following me. We just did a complete circle. <laughs> and I told him, I said, this doesn't feel right. And I'm like, look at all these trees. I don't remember this. And he brings out his compass and he says, yeah, we're going south. I'm like, south? How is it that we're going? <laughs> We're supposed to be going north and then we can see that's the mountain I climbed which was on the wrong side of us. <laughs> anyway, I thought it was funny. This is why you need a compass when you're out in the back country. So make sure you bring your compass like me and actually use it and don't don't go by your gut because I seriously just went in a complete circle. So I'll work my way to the trail. Just so you guys know we made it back to the trail and only about maybe 50 yards from my destination, so that's not too bad. Much better with a compass, noted. Don't trust your instincts, you'll go in circles. <laughs> Cheers.